Until I became six years old, I had no worries whatsoever. I just enjoyed life. But in 1991 or 92, when I was six, we moved to Chernigiv Oblast as the Soviet Union collapsed. We moved to my mother's village, so when I was growing up, I understood that not everything was easy for my family, especially in terms of finance. To say it short, it was hard. Yes, I went to school. I had good grades. My father told me, it's bad to be ignorant. You need to study and read a lot. My mother told me to learn English, but I answered, Mom, why do I need English? I'll be working here at the farm. Who do I talk English to? Cows? But Mom was right as always. I had to learn it then instead of doing it now. From when I was a little boy, I told my mother, I do not know why, but I told her that one day I will be very famous and I will have a helicopter and a very large house where we all will live. I remember that one day we were sitting in the kitchen. I told her, with these hands, I will do everything so you no longer have to work, my dear mother. They laughed at me. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance, it's showtime! I played football at that time. I did it quite well. But then my dad told me we had no means to pay for football training and buying a uniform. He was trying to explain to me that it was like that. There was a problem and we couldn't solve it. One day, I was sitting in the yard with my friends and there were some other guys passing by. Where are you going? We're going to boxing. There's a trainer in town. Every day there are great fights. There are coming a lot of people also from other districts. There we can have good fights and learn how to fight. Hmm, that's how I got to know my trainer, Sergei Yuryevich Lapin. Feet. Remember your feet. Stay on the ground. Boxing is a gentleman's sport. It has its origin in England. There's only me, my opponent, and a man dressed in white who is monitoring what's happening. I was watching him a lot. I was interested in his life, and when I watched him as a child, I was just as curious and stubborn as he was. He started boxing when his bike was stolen, and he wanted to get revenge. I started boxing because my father told me to. At my first training, I got beaten up so much that I thought, do I really want it? But I was touched deep down and I wanted revenge. So I kept on training and wanting more. My family is the most important motivator for me. I want to show my kids that success comes only because of hard work. Only hard work can save us. Patience, dedication, and the right decisions will give good results. If we live like shit, we'll end up like shit. Stop. When I'm talking to you, do not turn away. This is not funny. 
Сейчас он тебя Сереге отдам, будешь знать. Ближний работаешь. Один, снизу сбоку. Один, снизу сбоку. Now you hit one uppercut. Hook. Here, you can do more frontal. Your lead hand is there. You bring your arms close. You need to find the spot and strike from there. It's difficult. I can't talk to him. I can't say things to him. I can't thank him for bringing me into it, for supporting me in it. There was a story. After I won gold, he was already sick. My uncle told me when I came to visit him. So my dad came over one day to his bar with a collection of a few expensive alcoholic drinks that he had five or six bottles. And my uncle asked him, where are you going with your collection? And he says, I want to treat people because my son became an Olympic champion. But in about an hour, he came back. My uncle saw that the bottles were still corked. How come you didn't treat anyone? And dad said with a sigh, I couldn't find anyone worthy, and he left. He was very strict with me. Sometimes I think he was too strict. When I talked with other kids of my age, their parents were not like that. But now, when I have two sons myself, I can see that such strictness made me really who I am now. I've only lived for 30 years on this earth, but I've seen a lot, and I've understood that it was a great job what he did with me. Will you come up to me? No, you're cold. Yes, I'm a bit cold. I want to go to that pool. Let's jump in here, and then I immediately take you there. Let's jump in this pool together. No, why? We're jumping together. Hold me. Are you holding me? Push me! I normally see him in my dreams a day before the fight. I've never seen him in my dreams before my professional fights, only before the recent fight with Michael Hunter in the USA. I saw him again. He does not say anything. He just smiles. Before he passed away, he was sick and he didn't look well. But in my dreams, he's healthy and happy. I'm happy about it. Kirill, look at me. Let's show mom how strong we are. 